welcome to Infinity Design. This is Engineer Munaro Khan, CSWA, your instructor today. Today we will be making 3D model of this flange T, which is provided to us by one of our followers. So uh, we will start with opening SOLIDWORKS 2018. We will go ahead with the new file, the new path file. Yes, we know that the dimensions are in millimeters, so double check the dimensions are in millimeters. Okay, we'll move ahead and uh, we will start taking some of the dimensions. We know this dimension is about uh, 62 millimeters, uh, or let's say we'll start about this 33 millimeter dia. The furthermost feature to be made so we'll start with 33 millimeter dia sorry we'll choose the front plane we'll sketch a circle here the smart dimension give it a dimension 33 millimeters okay we know this extrusion is about millimeters we let's extrude this to two millimeters that's it now what we will go further we have this uh, another feature designed uh, this 62 millimeter in dia We should make sure that the center is snap, snapped on the center, okay, or it's snapped to the origin. We'll take dia to be 62 millimeters. Yes, uh, then take the extrusion length. This is about eight millimeters. That's good. Now uh, we'll move ahead. We are, we are at this reference point now and we will make this uh, make, make half of the features and then we will use the function command to pattern on three sides okay mm, so let's move ahead this is 72 we will move to the center like 72 by divided by 2 there is a This is 33 in dia. So again, 33 dia. And extrusion to be made uh, 71 divided by 2. That's it. Now we will we will make some of the fillets this is uh, basically two millimeter fillet here so it's a two millimeter fi uh, fillet that's it now before moving ahead we need to make a pattern and uh, for that pattern we need a center line so we will mark the center line here and that's it now we will go to sorry set pattern we will click on all the features that we want to to mirror and uh, then we select the center line yeah mm, we can change the direction that's it three No. Now, before before going to do the pattern, uh, we need to add another feature hole feature here, uh, which are these holes, which is which is about mm, yeah, it's 5.5 in dia, and the center line is at 46. Okay, so 5.5 millimeter dia. We'll place it somewhere here. 
five millimeter. Now we will get dimension in the center line to be yeah forty six. Oh sorry, yeah forty six is the dia. So forty six divided by two is the variance. And now we will go to the circular pattern. We need to select the sketch first. And then we go to pattern. Yes, we got all the four now. And then use the extrude cut feature. Extrude it. And that's it. Now before moving, let's, let's save this part. Okay. this part okay. so we would save this part now we will go to <coughs> turn these features uh, Circular pattern. Now let's select all the features. Okay, uh, now let's select the center line. Okay, this this uh, reverses the direction of the pattern, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So Initially, we, 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 have, we can change that, so there's no issue. Okay, that, that, that's almost done now. Uh, now, what we are left with is some of the fillets. Uh, we are left with this uh, fillet and this fillet. Yes. Mm. Yep. Now, what we will be doing is we will have this uh, fillet added. And uh, the fillet radius is about 14.5. We need two fillets. We select this edge out. So it's done almost now. Now the final is the uh, the hole through the cavity inside. So the cavity uh, inside is is basically. Uh, 19 in dia, 19 millimeter in dia. So we have to sketch all this first. This is 19 millimeter dia hole. 19 millimeter. to sketch it uh, there will be different methods used for um, this purpose but uh, you can do any of the method that's most convenient to you so there is no basically there is no single method to do any operation in SolidWorks so make sure that you find the most efficient one so that's that's basically the thing. Now what we will use is we will uh, use a split line command, and we will split the surface. And uh, that's it. Okay. Now we'll uh, apply the shell command. We will select all these three plane these surfaces and uh, we'll, the thickness is about seven millimeters so we'll leave that to seven millimeters and we'll go inside cavity now we're only left with one of the fillet which is three millimeters we can have this three millimeters fillet here <coughs> and uh, that's completed to verify 
demo design you click on the section view and that's it and just to cross check verify yeah this is it uh so i hope you this video uh before moving ahead let's let's apply some material for some uh, physical good physical appearance aesthetics uh, physical appearance we can apply material to this okay uh, metals uh, brass uh, yes uh, yeah that's it so i guess uh, you will i hope you like this tutorial and if you have any questions you can free, feel free to ask any question in the comment section below and if you want the file you can ask for the file i will share a link uh, so that you can get help out of this thing and uh, that's all so peace out